Hi friends, welcome to Be Set Free. I'm Jen. I wanted to talk to you today about time management after divorce when you have children. How do you do your days? Wow, you know, whew, especially when you have uh, multiple children or even just one child. How do you do this now? There's so much to do. How do we do it? So I wanted to start with you regarding this topic and talk about our mindset, okay? Because when we have a mindset of, I'm one parent doing two parents um, worth of work, I am, it's not fair. Um, when we have a mindset of focusing on them being out there gallivanting around and us being stuck with all the responsibility, um, this type of thing, which we do need to process through, that totally shuts down our ability to be able to do what we need to do, okay? So what we need to do is to take care of our children. We need to create a new life, right? And that's what we need to focus on. So um, we need to change our mindset first, okay? So I want you to think Stop thinking about the other parent and what they're not doing. And I want you to start thinking about what needs to be done and how amazing it is that you get the opportunity to create your life now, minus the weight of dealing with another person in your life that A, you either have to take care of financially because they're not, B, um, realizing that you don't have to live with abuse every day and you get to do life exactly the way you want to. You get to create this life for you and your kids now. And how are you gonna do it? What do you wanna do? What kind of feelings do you wanna have in your home? What kind of food do you want you guys, do you want your guys to eat, right? You get to pick all this stuff now, which is amazing. So I want you to start focusing on these positive things. I want you to focus on the fact that you get to have prime custody of your children now and what a blessing that is because you're gonna raise them to be amazing people, okay? These are great things. And this is the mindset we carry on into our daily life with our children and our job and doing time management, okay? so. Another thing we need to um, include or, or get rid of in our thought process is everything we're missing out on. Oh, well, how am I supposed to have time to go out to dinner with my girlfriends? How am I supposed to have time to meet somebody and get married again when all I have to do is like take care of children and the other person's out there like meeting all these people and carrying on with their life? Like, how am I supposed to take care of me when I have to take care of all this? Oh my gosh, like stop. <laughs> that is so negative, okay? Your focus right now is your kids. They need you. Kids always come first. And when the time is right and you're like in the right spot with your healing and everything, you will meet the person. It's not just gonna magically happen like just because you're whining about it. It's not gonna happen when you go out to the bar. <laughs> like if you need time to de-stress, schedule it, okay? But don't sit there and boo-hoo yourself about it. All right, that's a big one. Let's be mature and pull on our underoos, our big boy and our big girl underwear. <laughs> and Let's take care of our responsibilities. So how do we do life day by day, okay? Um, we have a good mental mindset. We prioritize what needs to be done. Our kids need to be taken care of. We be sure we're going to the store once a week. We're thinking about our evenings and how the flow is gonna be with dinner. Are there nights where you may only have 15 minutes and then it's dinner time and you gotta create a meal? Okay, let's go get one of those meal kits. You know, let's go, um, let's have a rotisserie chicken ready in the fridge. Let's have something we can pull out of the freezer, add a salad to, and voila, we got dinner, okay? Think about these things. Think about something easy 
Um, for breakfast in the morning for your children, be sure to be feeding yourself. Time management. These are, these are good things. Um, the other thing we need to do, we need to schedule in time to make sure our house is clean. So we have a good environment for our children and for ourselves to keep our minds healthy, to declutter our environment and to have it be clean. I'm super big about that. Okay. So um, what I do is I schedule a time to at least clean something every week. Last weekend, I had a little bit of a bigger clean because I wanted to change my filters in my AC unit because it's been so smoky where I am. So I also, you know, wanted to be sure the air going into the AC filters was clean. So I vacuumed my house. I dusted my house. I cleaned all four of my bathrooms um, and I did not do the kitchen. You know, then this morning what I did was I did the kitchen and I asked my kids to help me. I had my middle daughter, you know, load and unload and load the dishwasher, um, stuff like this. You know, I'll have them take out the garbage later. I had them take out the garbage last week. Like, ask your kids to help you because this teaches them also not only that we're a family and we need to rely on each other and help each other function, but also to do this stuff for when they're grown-ups, right? We need to schedule time to connect with our kids every day. So I'll limit my time at work, okay? There's nothing that can replace time with your kids. There's nothing that can replace you being home. But you have to work to earn money. So you need to be sure you're not working too much and, and like doing this whole fear-based thing with money. Like earn what you need to earn, but also realize the importance of being home and present with your kids. Even if you're just in the house, you being at home instead of at work is extremely important, okay? So I put a limit as to the amount of time I spend every day at work. And a thing I just started adding in is every few weeks, giving myself a day, an extra day off one week. Like, um, and then if I, I own my own business, so if somebody cancels on me, instead of filling up that time, um, like somebody canceled on me for today, instead of filling up that time with a job, um, I'm here, I'm home. And I already have next Friday scheduled off too. Not only does that give me a rest, but I'm here at the house. Not only, And that shows the kids that I love them and I want to be here with them, even if we're just in the house existing together. It's huge, okay guys? I own my own business. I know it's hard. I know we need money, but our kids are first, okay? They're, God always works the financial situation out when you do his will which the kids are part of that, and he will take care of you, okay? My business is booked out a month in advance right now, which is amazing. I didn't try to do that. God just blessed it, and I'm booked out four weeks right now. But when, so I could easily fill in that time today with a job or two or three <laughs> that I could get done, but it's important that I'm here, right? So making time, this is a time management skill. Now today I have the extra day off. If you schedule yourself an extra day off in the week, guess what? You have an extra day to do stuff. You can go to the store, you can get your car serviced, you can um, clean the house, you can get the school. Um, my kids are doing home study too, so you can help them wrap up their week, right? Time management, this is all included in your daily stuff. Schedule time to take care of you and to be home. Um, you're gonna need to schedule some um, consistency in your day so your kids know what to expect. It helps them be calm. It helps them realize that life is not out of control, that mommy or daddy's got it, okay? So be consistent with your dinner time. Be consistent with cleaning up at the end of the day, every day. Clean up as you go. Each day, clean up, clean up, clean up, and make a discipline of it. And before long, it's gonna be so easy. Don't let things pile up, because that will make you depressed, and it'll clutter up your mind, and it'll make your kids feel um, not taken care of. They won't be able to say that, though, but they'll start acting crazy. 
And it's because you need to you need to provide some stability in a healthy home environment. Okay. Um, what else do we need to do during the day? I think we should talk about what we don't need to do. It's very important to cut things out of your day that are distracting you from the main things you need to get done, which is to take care of your kids and to earn money to survive and thrive. Okay, so all the other stuff you need to cut out and get really simple with your time and then add things in as you feel comfortable. If you add something in and you're noticing it's stressing your kids out or it's stressing you out, you take it out right away. You try it for a few weeks and see if you can get it into the flow of your routine. And if it's not, you get rid of it. No matter what it is, no matter what commitments you've made regarding that thing, if it's disrupting your stress level and your kids flow, it's gone. And you don't need to make excuses for that. It's, it's important to be able to say no when things aren't working for those two very important things, yourself and your children, okay? You guys come first. So anyways, I hope this helps you figure out some time management, um, you know, the routine, pre-thinking um, what we're going to eat during the week and if we're going to have a short day where well, we're not going to have much time to prepare meals. You know, you, you have already gone to the store and you have something waiting, a boxed meal on the shelf that you can just add some meat to, done. You know, a frozen meal that you can cook in the oven and add a salad to, done. Um, and then you have those special nights where you have, you know, an hour and a half to cook a really nice meal and show your kids how much you love them and yourself, right? Um, and I hope it helps you understand it's super important, your mindset. You have a privilege right now to raise children. This is going to be a very short time in your life. They're only with you for 18 years. And even before then, they've already started fl flying the coop, you know? And then your time with them is, they're gonna be on to their grown up lives. Like, you'll have time for you. Don't focus on the other parent, what they're doing. You be the best you. And you do the best you possibly can to, to be the best and do the best for your children. Connect with them. Be patient with them, be stern with them, have boundaries and love them. That's your focus right now. Not the other parent, not what you're missing out on because you're not missing out on anything. You have the most amazing job right now. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to drop this video here. I hope it helps you. Please, I love to see your comments because I love it when also, when other people see your comments and they say, wow, we got this. We're a tribe. Like, we are warriors. We are doing this thing together. Um, feel free to reach out to me at besetfreefromabuse at gmail.com. All one word. And um, I just pray you have a blessed day. Go hug your kids. Goodbye. Okay,